everyone. Glad you could join us again for one of our another one of our virtual story times. I'm Christine and I'm with the Jasper Library. But as you can see, uh, we are not filming this from the library because currently the library is closed and we just want everyone to stay home and stay healthy. So I decided to just film another one of our story times from, from my home. So today I picked out a book that most of you might be familiar with, a Dr. Seuss book, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. And, and this book is, is special because it has a special meaning behind the book. The book, in, if you read the book, it is basically telling us that everyone is different. We all look different and act different and that's okay. Uh, we're all special in our own way. And throughout the day, we will meet all types of different types of people. Some, some people you might meet might be tall. Some people you might meet might be short. Some people might have brown hair. Some people might have black hair. And that's okay. We're all different and special in our own way. So we're going to take a few minutes and, and read this book. And then when we're finished, we're going to do a fun, a fun rhyme that you could do with your parents, you could do with your children at nighttime, uh, whenever they, before bedtime at nighttime. So we're going to read One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. One fish, blue, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet and some have four, and some have six feet and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why, go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three, how many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven? This is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Do you think you would like to have eleven fingers? Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So, if you like to go bump bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gump. That's kind of hard to say. On the hump of the wump of gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of the bed up here. We ride our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits up in the back, you see. Here's Mike up here. We like our mic, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Well, there's Mike pushing them up the hill. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me. What is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear, but he's out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, I have a bird I like to hold. 
My shoe is off. My feet is cold. My foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. And now my story is told. We took a look. We saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is a hook cookbook? That's kind of hard to say too, a hook cookbook. The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk, I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box sock. That's a silly word too, gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know? This one I think is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, 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 I am a yop. All I do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, hop, I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know, go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it, we know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun and fun is good. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, I called you up to say hello. I said hello, can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast. So fast, they say, they need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say, I wish for fish. And I get fish right on my dish. So if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish.
At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Deck. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only one in town. Look what we found in the park. In the dark, we will take him home. We'll call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night, it's time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet, Zeke. Today is gone, today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. So that was Dr. Seuss's book, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, telling us that every day we meet someone or something that looks different than us, and, and that one, that's what makes everyone special. So at nighttime, probably, boys and girls, when you get ready to go to bed, mom or dad probably have you, probably have you take a bath every night before you go to bed, and so we thought we would do some kind of a fun rhyme about some elephants in the bathtub. So just imagine if you had elephants in your bathtub at home. Wouldn't that be silly? So we're going to we're going to do just a fun rhyme about some five elephants in the bathtub. And these elephants are going to go for a swim. And with our hand motions and our clapping and slapping, we're going to say knock knock splash splash come on in. So we're going to tell the elephants to come on into the bathtub. So we're going to start with one. And there's one elephant in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. So now how many would that make? We'd have two elephants in the bathtub. So we have two elephants in the bathtub, going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. So now we have three, three elephants in your bathtub. Just try to imagine that at home. That would be a silly sight to see. Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. So now that would make four bathtubs. It's getting four elephants in the bathtub. It's getting pretty full. So we have four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. So now we're up to five elephants in your bathtub. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. And you know what would happen if all five of them were in the, in, the, in the bathtub? Splash, they all fell in. So they all fell into the, to the bathtub. So that's just a fun rhyme to do, to do with your child at home. So we hope that you, I hope that you enjoyed the story and the rhyme today. And we do all miss everyone, uh, not being able to see everyone to come into the library. We all miss you and, and we hope uh, everyone stays healthy and safe and we hope to see everyone in the next week or so. Thank you, have a great day.